Welcome back, dear viewers. You're still watching The Breakfast Show here on Nile TV International. Decent Life is an initiative launched by His Excellency President Assisi with the aim of improving the quality of life within the rural communities, again within the framework of the Sustainable Development Strategy, Egypt Vision 2030. And on Thursday, the President announced the launch of the first conference and attended the first conference of the Decent Life National Project at Cairo uh, Stadium. Now, to shed more light on the issue, we are honored to have with us here in the studio Dr. Hoda Rizkhana, former Member of Parliament and Professor of Intensive Care Faculty of Medicine, Cairo University. Dr. Hoda, thank you for joining us. I would thank you very much and a happy feast and happy days to come. Um, same to you, uh, Dr. Hoda. Now, um, how do you see that great initiative, the Decent Life Initiative, your view about the importance of such an initiative which aims to reach the poorest uh, um, uh, 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 of the population, those living in rural communities, which aims to improve the, the quality, remote areas, the remote areas mm. with the aim of improving the quality of life. C could you? Uh, well, I, you as think? a matter of fact, uh, President Sisi, he's very tactful and very uh, initiative, initiating uh, uh, with uh, uh, organized steps to indulge every specimen of this Egyptian society in the empowerment and in the development of uh, health and wealth and secured life and education. So I can see that he is by far the first all over the world from the presidency area, even in the Arab and the African nations, that he enroll himself in the development by the programs of the United Nations. And each uh, month, maybe we celebrate one or two events. Uh, the last was the, the woman, and this one is the decent life. And this gives you a picture how he is picturing an idealistic view for the Egyptian society to enroll everybody there, even in the far more remote people, Upper Egypt, far uh, west and far east and far south. So we have to indulge with him and help him. So I can see that he is uh, very, very um, strict in applying the tools which can help everybody to achieve uh, the goals of 2030 development. And he also very, very uh, tactful to follow. It's not if he celebrate opening mm. ceremony, he by time, he, you find out that he is following this. Yeah. And this gives you a, a, a positive impact about this personality. Yes. So I will salute him for that. And, and, and certainly such an initiative, uh, Dr. Hoda, would encourage, would raise awareness, first of all, of the importance of, uh, you know, um, of such an issue to all Egyptians and would get people, I guess, more involved. Um, not only the, um, the non-governmental NGOs or non-governmental um, uh, um, uh, organizations, but but people in general, you know, richer Egyptians or upper class Egyptians, I guess, would be motivated to get involved and to... to, to I think this, it, 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 you, it rings a bell because mm. everybody got a, a positive impulse to be enrolled. Mm. I mean, if I have the possibility to have a group, we, we can supervise an area next to us or uh, afar or in a countryside we, uh, in which we belong, or we can also uh, uh, specify areas of weakness mm. and then we go for the process of treatment. Mm. As you uh, medical, you, you, you just have to diagnose where is mm. the disease. So, mm. and you go ahead and treat. Mm. Uh, this uh, process is very, uh, very, very uh, good in treating this chronic diseases which you are suffering, the society suffers from suffering from chronic illness, chronic ignorance, chronic uh, poverty, chronic uh, lack of uh, awareness, chronic, you know, 
the people are left behind for a long time. Mm. That's why when the president gives you a percussion here, mm. it stimulates and start to evolve all the layers. Yes, yeah. it's the type of project, of national project, where everyone could could um, enroll and uh, also yeah. participate and, and be unified uh, in uh, um, trying to reach one goal. So, uh, Dr. Roda, um, um, the health sector specifically and the education sector, I want to ask you about that because when we talk about improving the quality uh, uh, of, of life, then health and education come First, first to mind, of yes. Of course, of yeah. course. If you so the efforts you, in that regard. The efforts, it's a remarkable effort, mm. actually. And the women health, especially, give a good care for that, and they give a tremendous, uh, heavy programs to follow even the cancer and the chronic diseases, which ki more killers than the cancerous uh, problem, because diabetic patient and hypertensive patients are walking pumps though the the cancer appears late in the age but hypertension maybe start at 30 maybe start and 31 32 uh, diabetics start from juvenile age so so it has to be early diagnosed and early treated so you make sure that this human this egyptian human is healthy and capable to think and capable to work mm. because health is the primary number one factor which gives you a healthy brain absolutely and when we talk about health we must talk about clean drinking water about um, sewage systems so the importance of about getting rid of the informal settlements and getting everything in in order yes in, in, an, in, yes. in a planned manner yes so yes and that planned. he was is getting rid of a lot of uh, you know areas which is outdated and uh, considered to be polluted all the time so he, he make a new residence for these people and they moved to this area to 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 receive a healthy and beautiful life. Uh, these people were not able to see the sun or the fresh air to smell. Mm. They go and vanish in the street because they need to, to have some air. Mm. So this is the air because they sleep in a dump. Mm. Uh, so they get rid of that and they give them new areas to live in and a new program to, to make the children also, the coming generation, more healthy. You can't find uh, a, a young g boy or girl with the same illness as the same for five years ago. Right. So w uh, we feel that tremendous change among the generation because you can make sure that this age group is treated well and well taken care. And this is the key of the healthy society. Mm -hmm. Now, before we um, talk about more important parameters uh, of, of the initiative, I wanted to ask you about the president's speech, uh, Dr. Hoda, and, and specifically about two points. The, the point where he praised and thanked God for, for, for saving uh, Egypt, and the point where he's talking about Egypt's national security, where he said, quote, uh, um, a red line that can never be crossed, unquote. Yes. And that tendency to peace does not mean letting anyone meddle with Egypt's security. If you would like to elaborate on that, please. Well, I have to elaborate positively because I feel he's very strong and he mean it. He, he won't let anybody actually deprived any Egyptian from a cup of water. He's managing this uh, uh, file in a smart and very good way. Though he doesn't look as he's uh, so much aggressive or he's not showing any uh, cynical attitude. So he gave a speech and a quiet and very reasonable words and he gave the message loud and clear. We are not going to make any Egyptian suffer from any lack of water or for his farm or for his family or his future. Uh, and this is a big step. We uh, salute him for that and 
uh, we, we all pray God to serve him to each. Dr. Hoda, um, you being, um, uh, you, you know, of course, an expert uh, when it comes to um, uh, uh, intensive um, uh, yes. care. Yes, 30, and, 30 and, and, years and, intensive care. <laughs> and, and health uh, in yes. general. Yes. You know, the initiative in dealing w versus dealing with the negative impacts of COVID-19. I mean, how is COVID-19, how has COVID-19 made such an initiative even more important uh, 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 and more pressing and um, and how are we dealing with that? Well, as a matter of fact, from the first uh, start of the, this appearance of the COVID-19, it was very well uh, evident that this is type of the flu. This which was manipulated and uh, was you know, uh, changing some of the ribosomal activity of the chromosome of this virus. And, and it's not actually a virus, not a complete virus. It's a bacterial with adding elements which make it uh, reachable to the lungs. Why lungs? Because this is the key of life. Air is the key of our life. So when you go to the area of exchanging gas, which is the lungs, you are uh, uh, killing the people. You are killing the human who uh, contact this virus or uh, contaminate that. And it won't reach you except if you have a weak lung. If you are a smoker, chronic smoker, shisha, uh, lack of exercise, lack of movement, uh, sedentary life, when people sedentary life with sleep, they cannot take full inspiration or expiration where they are sleeping with their belly full. Why? Because the diaphragm go to the back. Uh, I hope I have some dia <laughs> the, you know, the yeah. uh, photos. Yeah. And it holds your lung from expansion, full expansion. So you cannot get, you, you take your oxygen, Inside, and, 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 this and is when, why you, so, when so, you, some people find it easier to sleep, you know, with, with their back. Yeah, semi sitting, 45 uh, degree, uh, which is perfect. Yeah, I don't, I don't argue with this, but yeah. we encourage him to lose some weight. Why this will improve a hell of areas inside this very important. Uh, uh, it's a quadrangle, not triangle, mm. because the heart, lungs, and the area of the diaphragm and the liver. Mm. So very, very sensitive area. And it was like manipulated by a computer to get to these areas. Mm. And that's why it contracts the people who are elderly mm. and the weak and vulnerable in hospitals. Mm. The issue which is make it spread the respirator which was contaminated mm. because the respirator moved from patient to patient in Europe and that's what makes it very, very... Uh, that we, complicated the issue. Yes, I, we thank God. Aggravated the issue. Yes, we thank God we have lack of this equipment here. And we depend on the aerosol and the mask of the oxygen without no need for the respirators. Mm. You're pointing to you are, you are You are killing the very patient with... Very important area there. This yeah. is very... That's why I'm to I told them stop using the respirators and these repeated administration from patient to patient to patient you have to great advice great yes, advice dr yes. Robert. so so i guess raising awareness about such issues um about health issues in general and especially about covid 19 issues in, in the time we live in right now is is very important and and must be a part of such our an initiative, life. Our, our life, this, this is a decent a, life. This is the decent for, life yeah. we ask for. Yeah. I mean, if you are... Uh, raise awareness. Uh, yeah. You raise awareness, you mm. keen about your exercise, mm. you care to, to take some fresh air in the morning, even in the, your window by yeah. yourself. Yeah. It, it doesn't mean that you have to go jogging in the club in the morning. Which but would be better, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. if you have time, but mm. you can do that in your uh, window or balcony mm. and... Mm. Fresh air in the morning, 5 a.m., oh my, it's the best time you take ozone fresh from God. Mm. This is the natural ozone, which is the wet uh, droplets coming from the sky.
So this is a secret also. We keep Very precious <laughs> advice we're getting here really uh, from Dr. Oda. So as far as job creation is concerned and battling unemployment, how do you see the Decent Life Initiative playing a part in that? Well, this is a, a, a very, very important and critical point because I don't tolerate that educate my all young generation, the power which is going to build Egypt and send them abroad. No. Why to, uh, we cannot be able to initiate and provide and create jobs for these people and train them for that. I mean, if he is not trained, I put him for six months to be trained in the area of technical uh, IT, technical TV, technical uh, uh, photography. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of training programs all over the world spreading. And I have to tell you something secret. States, they are not all educated and they are not having a, a, a university degrees very very rare because they cannot tolerate to pay such expensive uh, fees for any university so they get their bread and butter from the egyptian and the arabs so they wait for these clients to come and put hundreds and thousands of us dollars the issue here is that they provide their children with primary education and they finish high school and then Either they go to, you know, uh, to merit, military, when the military divide them and scatter them in a various divisions, either engineering or whatever the areas they need, uh, or they got uh, a degree, medium degree to support him, and then after one or two years, he can join another job higher than the one before. So this job issue, we have to share, uh, the government should share private sector and NGOs and also people with a small businesses, especially the ladies, who are capable to put uh, some money and start her own business and they can develop that with her and this will create another job, uh, a variety of different divisions and the and we need the carpets we need this now I, I i go shopping for carpets i found that the shop is full of indian carpets what about egyptian carpets <laughs> i asked the guy what about yeah. egyptian carpets yeah. oh we don't uh, we don't need the uh, persian we did okay very expensive we have an egyptian carpet which is handmade which is done by the young girls mm. you remember uh, haranea and all these co yes. villages and uh, this is the area that we have to start heavy loading on this spot. NGO, uh, the minister sector. of uh, the Daman and uh, Solidarity, solidarity uh, uh, she should be involved. Social solidarity. Uh, yeah. And also the women council, the women council should pick from the villages and from the other areas in Egypt uh, uh, the weak and vulnerable sectors who need su to be supported and make a report and get them enrolled in these programs. And uh, maybe there is a some time between the announcement of the president and the actual uh, 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 doing the program on yeah. the on the ground. So. Uh, following this program is very important and I think the, the, the president himself may follow that. We ask him to follow that because yes. the, there is there is, uh, there is a lot at stake here. Yes, yeah. and uh, there is a lot of uh, hanging over because they are, you know, sometimes they don't have the courage to start the wave. But when he gave the push, it's a very good uh, and start. I think uh, they will feel confident and they will go. So I don't Absolutely. believe that any uh, student graduated from high school even would stay at home and ask mommy to give him money and ask him to go to the club. Mm -hmm. But we, uh, we are asking for a new generation who search and look as if he look in the internet for everything, Alamod or Salamod all over the world, uh, look at the 
new jobs. There are a lot of offers and a lot of jobs. And then he will join another program of education or specialized uh, areas or university, which is, not a, which is not a shame. He will join the wave, as you put it beautifully, uh, Dr. Uh, Hoda, uh, uh, the wave that we want to all be uh, part of, a wave yes. forward going uh, um, uh, forward. And, and certainly the, decent, the presidential uh, initiative, Decent Life, is something that is moving uh, uh, Egyptians forward. We thank you very much, uh, Dr. Hoda Rizkana, um, former member of parliament. Thank and you very much. We thank our Vincent president Care. for his... Uh, you know, very hard work uh, in the brain and bringing these initiatives uh, is surprising a lot of people and a lot of society all over the world. This is what I'm going to say. So it's very, very good. And I wish him the best and wish all Egypt safe and security and plenty of water. <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Hodar Khana, a former member of Fallen Professor of Intensive too. Care. Faculty of Medicine College University. Always a great pleasure to have you with us. Happy feast. Dear viewers, uh, please stay uh, with us. My dear colleague, Karim Ganeri Dean, will be back to continue this uh, morning's edition of The Breakfast Show. Don't go away.